right, moving on to my favorite piece is our Carnage Fine Art Line. This is actually our first time getting the Marvel comic license. So this is our foray into the comic. Uh, the difference here, this is kind of the first view uh, on video for my Red Titan folks, uh, is the swap out tongue uh, for the main head. We know a lot of uh, Carnage purists like it without the, the tongue in the mouth. So we wanted to be able to offer uh, both versions of the swap out uh, tongue. This is, this is a piece I've been wanting to do for a while. Uh, I wanted to do something completely different uh, I had this idea, a lot of people told me it wouldn't be able to get done. Uh, and what I wanted to do was create just something totally different for the collectible world uh, and make it more of a story. So I actually broached uh, my art director, one of my art directors, uh, Brian Kucherek, and told him, hey man, I got this crazy idea. Uh, you've been able to bring a lot of my thoughts in my head to life. Let's see what we can do here. And I basically went to Brian and said, hey, I want to do a, a statue where we do a life-size head and I want to do a story basically going all the way around it for a full 360 view uh, uh, story and statue. So I told him we were going to start with the Maximum Carnage uh, story, uh, comic book storyline uh, with, the, with the head on one side. And I sent Brian uh, a couple examples of uh, concepts I was thinking. Uh, a couple of the covers from the uh, from the, the comics and storyline, which included the the puppeteer, uh, and then I basically just let Brian loose, and, and he's able to bring bring this monster uh, to life in concept. And I think we we've been doing great with this uh, partnership. Glad to have him on the team as well. Uh, I think we we pulled it off, uh, and we'll also be offering a real bronze version as, of this as well. Uh, like I said, we wanted to do a, a fine art uh, piece and really have a story with it. Uh, and this was actually sculpted by uh, Ref Grazzi and then also Tiago on our team uh, helped on this piece as well. So this was a great collaboration effort and, and Brian on my team also uh, amazing job on helping us, uh, helping point out issues that we may have in production that we were able to uh, get incorporated into this piece so that we can actually make it and it's not just something that's on 3d and on the screen so uh this has gotten an amazing reception uh and i think this is going to be this is actually our first uh in this line uh i have a feeling we're going to get a lot of copycats coming after us but i think uh we're going to do this against multiple properties we actually have a and this is actually a first for my rad titan folks as well we're working on a planet hulk uh version of this as well uh, that's currently being sculpted. So more to come on our fine art line uh, across actually multiple properties, not just marble.